This video has been a long time coming. Not because I'm trying to avoid this book review, it's because I'm not really sure how to do it. It's surrounding a highly controversial person that's on the interwebs right now, which is Eugenia Cooney. And the book that I'm talking about is No More Secrets Eugenia Cooney by Sherry Cronin. Now, I found out about this book through Rich Lux's video that was, I think, done in November, maybe October. Um, I guess, I don't know, someone sent Eugenia Cooney this book, maybe Sherry did send it, um, but either way, it landed in Eugenia Cooney's fan mail, and she had it. And, um, on Witch Lux's video, he was talking about, like, well, can she sue? Because literally, the author is talking about Eugenia Cooney without her consent. Now, with that being said, Eugenia Cooney is a public figure. A lot of videos are being made of her, and I think it's starting to increase, mostly because um, she started hanging out with Jeffree Star, and I just feel like that has increased her publicity, if that makes sense. And I know a lot of people are kind of keeping close watch on her as well, because she is subject to um, anorexia nervosa. I mean, there's other things, there's other diagnoses um, that she could be going through that might not be anorexia nervosa that looks like it. So that is the reason why um, I'm finding it really, really difficult to do this book review. Um, just because I really do feel like this is a, an important subject and um, also because a lot of people have strong opinions over Eugenia Cooney. So um, this book essentially talks about Eugenia Cooney, like with what information she has released publicly online. So from the beginning stages of her starting YouTube up until Rich Lex's personal interview or exclusive interview with Eugenia Cooney. And what the author does is she kind of analyzes every video that Eugenia Cooney has created and kind of discussing it um, in relations to um, body dysmorphia, like your perception, a person's perception of how they look on social media. It also provides a lot of context as far as what anorexia nervosa is. What I do like is that the author did take her time to do some research as far as what anorexia nervosa is, um, ways that you can help someone that is suffering from that. What I find interesting is that in the author's bio, she talks about how she is a retired professional bodybuilding bodybuilder competitor. And if anybody knows about that sport, it's all about vanity. Basically, people are they work out, they condition themselves, and they pretty much get their body rated. So it makes a lot of sense as far as the relations between the bodybuilding world and body dysmorphia. So it makes sense why this author decided to use uh, Eugenia Cooney as a case study and even talk about anorexia nervosa or eating disorders or body dysmorphia. What interests me is that the author provided um, information that she sourced from the Mayo Clinic. However, what kind of irks me is the fact that it's not properly sourced. And the reason why it kind of irks me is that it's, this is, I consider it as a uh, case study. And um, there's a lot of misinformation that goes around on the internet. So I feel it's the same way with books. And in that case, a good way to kind of prevent misinformation is to properly sort or properly cite your sources. So that's what kind of worries me is that yes, you can find this stuff on Mayo, you can find like um, signs and symptoms of body dysmorphia anywhere on the internet, but you can't definitely know that this is the correct information. You kind of have to take things with a grain of salt. Um, but I will give credit that the author did source that she, get, she got her information from Mayo Clinic. So, um, as I got kind of deeper into the book, I got a little bit more concerned because she starts talking almost on a standpoint that she is somewhat of a professional or a paraprofessional that speaks about the conditions that Eugenia Cooney might be suffering from. So I reached out to the author. She talked to me, which I was surprised about. Um, and it turns out that she does have a bachelor's degree in psychology makes sense a lot more now. So I wish that she did say in her bio that she does possess a bachelor's degree in psychology because it would make so much more sense as far as why she chose to talk about this um, and also kind of backs up like what she's talking about and presenting in this book. Um, <clears throat> so 
in the end. Um, really, I kind of feel like this book kind of, it got, it got crapped on really quickly, mostly because, again, this is surrounding a very sensitive topic, which is Eugenia Cooney. Um, and I feel that a lot of people online feel that it wasn't right for the author to be writing about Eugenia Cooney without her consent. But let's face it, Eugenia Cooney is a public figure. She is a celebrity on YouTube or on the interwebs, TikTok as well. Um, but that doesn't give her any immunity to be exempt from people writing about her. I mean, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, like a bunch of other public figures has had books written about them. They even had like magazine columns written about them. So this is almost like the same thing. And if we want to talk about cash grabbing about the author, I really feel that if she wanted to just make an, a quick buck off of Eugenia Cooney's name, maybe making a self-published book was probably not the best way to go as far as getting that quick buck. Mostly because, again, this is an independent publishing deal. So what that means is that first, the publisher, or not publisher, the author has to write the book. Next, she needs to find an independent publisher, which I believe might be Amazon, because I think Amazon has that type of business going on. She needs to sell her story to Amazon. Amazon needs to agree to make so many copies of the book and sells it. So the author needs to pay up front the publishing fees, the production fees, and shipping, I believe. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure how that goes, but that's kind of the idea that I have. Basically, what I'm trying to say when I'm talking about self-publishers is the fact that Sherry had to put up money in order to produce this book, so I don't think she's making money off of this at all. If anything, I think the people who are making a lot of money are the people on YouTube or TikTok, any other social media platform that is using Eugenia Cooney's name and monetizing their content. That is making a quick buck. I don't really feel that the current um, Amazon reading that it is right now, I think it's it's got to be at least lower than a three star rating. Um, but that's because I feel that a lot of people who like Eugenia Cooney are, is going directly to Amazon and just downgrading it without actually reading it or looking up, picking up the book. If you've read this book, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I don't want to spread any hate or anything like that from the author Eugenia Cooney. But that's all I have right now. So I will see you guys in the next book recommendation or book review. I'll see you guys in the next book review. Bye!